Hello everyone, this is my full guide on the reforging system of Diablo Immortal. You'll have everything that you need to know first how to get the reforged stone, what the family set bonus, how it works and of course everything without the need to use real money. I'll start with something that people ask me a lot, the thing is that you need to have the three attributes on one piece of equipment. It's not for the 160 paragon, but probably for the 190 paragon. So this guide is a bit early, but at least you'll know how it works and especially you won't waste your reforged turn before that level. You have 6 families and 5 attributes per family, that means 1 chance on 30 to have the right attribute. We'll be only using a reforged stone in that guide because these are the ones which are free. Second point very important is how to get reforged stone. First thing you can forget about the paying one because you need to use the real money and of course that's not what we are going to do. Second option will be to buy them at the hilt merchant but they are a bit pricey. And you need your hills for the other options, for example the crest or the material. Don't worry, there's a third option which is very convenient to do because it costs nothing. If you watch my previous guide, I always tell you to do your 3 PvP matches per day, and at the end of a ladder which arrives when the immortals are defeated by the shadows, you'll gain a very huge amount of reforged stone. By being free to play player and just doing your 3 matches a day, it's very easy to get legend on Diablo Immortal and this will unlock a minimal of 80 reforging stone. If you don't know how to do it, I made several guides on the PvP to help you to reach it, but keep in mind that you don't need to spend money in the game if you want to become a legend rank in Diablo Immortal. Also keep in mind that the amount of reforged stone will always be the highest rank that you reach. That means that if you lose some ranks after, it's okay because it will keep your best score. So just do it every ladder. If the immortal stay in place, for example, one month, once you reach Paragon 190, you should have around 200 or 250 reforging stone. And this is how we'll be using them to reforge our stuff and get the family bonus. Now for the family set bonus you need to keep in mind that they will give you some bonuses but it's also very important to check the attributes. So I will tell you first which bonus give you the families but keep in mind that the most important part will be just after with the attributes. First one wildfire 2% chance to create an hydra when you kill an enemy. Second one tremor 2% chance to create area damage and stun with your basic attack. Third one jolt 2% chance to stun the enemy when he attacks you. Fourth one vengeance 2% chance to increase the damage on your basic attack. The fifth barrier 2% chance again to have a shield. And the last one ravager 2% chance to have the body explode once he's dead. So now I'll tell you for each family which attributes are very interesting and the ones that you can forget. First family, Wildfire, this one is very important because you have plenty of very interesting attributes. Increase basic attack, increase skill damage, increase the damage on enemies with less than 30% of life, increase the critical damage, not the critical chance but the critical damage, and the last one, not very interesting, you heal the group when you die. Tremor will be interesting but only in PvP because it works with the CC. You can reduce the healing, reduce the attack and movement speed of your enemy, reduce the channeling damage that you take, resist to the stun and resist to the knockback. Jolt will also be mainly interesting in PvP because you have some damage reduction from the player, damage reduction from the spell with CC, chance to not die and slow effect resistance. Just one thing which can be very interesting for example for Crusader Barbarian Monk is the increased duration of the effects. Vengeance will also be a family very interesting because you will have attack speed, damage to player, damage to demons, damage to enemies under CC and the last one which is less interesting the damage increase against enemies with shield. Barrier is your best option if you wish to tank more. You'll have increased life and reduced damage from the enemies nearby. And the other one a bit less interesting, damage to undead, chance to block and fear resistance. Last one, Ravager will be the best for your necromancer summoner because you have increased damage on your summons and damage reduced on them. Increased damage to elite and the other one a bit less interesting, life regeneration and cooldown on your heals potion. 
So don't forget to do your 3 PvP matches in a day to keep your reforging stone so you'll be ready for the 3 attributes and the family bonus. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments on that video. Bye bye!